yo what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome to the channel if you're new bro so check this out right i'm gonna give you guys my elite division and high ranking foot champ 4231 tactics all right now i mostly came up with these tactics to help kill that 4321 meta bro it's been terrorizing me in my sleep i'm so tired of facing i'm so tired of playing the same play style the the counter attacks the run to the byline the cutback the run to the byline for the cutback recycle it back to the top of the box like i'm just tired of it and i want to mitigate it as much as possible and i think i've done that so let's just jump right into it first off now i know you're seeing that high line i know you're seeing that 90 and you're like oh my god i don't know if i can do it if you're not comfortable with 90 drop the def down to what you want but i would just suggest having 90 for a simple fact of is what we're going to be telling our cdms to do that will help capitulate your opponents out outward pass through the midfield when you're in their box and they stop the, your attack and they pass it straight back to their midfielder that's waiting there or they pass it straight to their striker this will help just capitulate that 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 center mid of the pitch for them to get out of your attack and hit you with the counter attack so if you want to drop it down go ahead i totally understand but for me this is what i've been doing and i'm very comfortable playing like this also to the width of 40 you have to keep that because that formation no matter if they're defending in a 442 eventually whichever center four that they have that's coming back to either fill the left mid position or the right mid position for the 442 lineup is going to have to go forward and they're going to go narrow and what ends up happening is is that your left back or right back ai whichever one it is he is only reading that he's facing someone in a left mid position so when they start changing that position to the center forward your other center back is kind of in la la land while your other one is just running back trying to defend the run that their striker is making which is what causes you a lot of times to get hit on the counter attack because at that point when their uh, third attacker starts to move back in that center forward position it causes a basically a, a weird overload for your for your ai which then when you have to move and start controlling and once you start controlling and moving the mark their runs that's when they start ticky talking it and then eventually they'll have the overlap and run to run down the byline hit you with the cutback goal uh, i'm telling you man i it's the same repetition over and over again some people just do it better than others but nine times out of ten it's the same thing but anyways our build-up style is going to be on basic our chance creations will be on direct passing 55 whiff we're going to do five in a box and your corner and free ticks whatever you want to put them on based off what your tactics are for corner and free kicks i have my own than what the normal meta of doing the mids. So, how it's gonna line up. Now, this is pivotal. This is very pivotal. In your defensive line, when it comes to your left back and right back, make sure one of them is a more defensive oriented and one's more attacking oriented. For me, Camavinga is the defensive oriented, Zaha is the attacking oriented. Same thing with your two CDMs. Make sure you have a CDM that is very defensive oriented. You trust holding it down to defend. That's what Bellingham is for me. Where Tony Cruz is going to be the attacking one. For your cams, you're going to need an explosive cam. So whether it's an Mbappe, whoever it is, whatever explosive attacker you want to put there, put them out wide in their the left cam position or the right cam position. It is very pivotal to help you build up out of defending and launch your own counterattack or going against the run of play. It is very pivotal. And then for your center, your center uh, cam, make sure you have someone that at least has high medium work rates. Modric has uh, high medium, but this is a team of the uh, season. So I just slapped a shadow on him and he does decently good. So it's it's, it's just very pivotal, like pivotal of doing this and you have to have a uh, very i guess it, i won't really say meta but i had Firmino there and his body type is really small so you know just the strikers that you have that are you know that you trust in have them as a striker right all right so for the instructions we're gonna have our striker smoothly on getting behind you want to push that defensive line back to as much as possible get that defensive line already going backwards to create space for you in the midfield now this 
is where I've said it's pivotal to have an explosive cam, someone that you know, like Mbappe. Mbappe has what high low work rates, he can't really defend. So what do you want to do? I'm gonna tell you, just think like I have Diaby. Diaby has low, I mean high low work rates. He's not really good defending. So what we're gonna do is tell him to stay forward, free roam. Now, since he already has good AI, the free roam is gonna, he's automatically just going to start running into open spaces because at this point of the game of him having a good attacking AI. So if you have any type of striker, center forward, whoever that's an attacker, that has a good attacking AI, you want them to be your stay forward guy. That's the guy that's gonna also help build up with your striker until everyone else starts to get to moving on the pitch. So for me, that's gonna be Diaby. Now we'll say that also comes with this tactics. There's gonna be a lot of times of launching balls over the top, like uh, lob passes, uh, switching the play. Now there's what Diaby does let me down because he is short, the headers, so if you have someone tall there to win headers, because a lot of times you're going to find yourself having to do that, especially when people are just start to that 4-4-2 setup starts to sit back, you're going to have to a lot of times just lob passing. So, you know, if you have a better option, I mean, you probably do just use that. Just make sure to keep in mind height when it comes into that. But you're going to have an explosive cam, your explosive cam, you're going to tell to stay forward free roam. Now for your attacking your central cam this is where i said it is pivotal to have a cam in the middle that can somewhat defend because we're going to have them come back on defense get into the box for crosses and aggressive interception this is basically going to be another box to box midfielder um a lot of times since diaby stays forward modric might go out to the left to help clever in that left space so then you'll have an overlap right there in the left side of the pitch when attacking or defending like it'll be really weird it will like your opponent i've done this time and time again your opponent is going to be hard for them to build up because of how everything's moving and they're not used to seeing players just kind of colliding you have to somewhat make players collide to help defend this so that center cam you're going to have to come back on defense and get in the box for crosses with aggressive interception because we don't really want modric to win the ball if he can great but we want him to apply pressure coming back like smooth as that we need to help apply pressure so when you're also controlling your cdm or your center back your left back whatever well most of your cdms and your two center backs Modric is also or that cam position the middle cam is also applying pressure behind the ball you know what I mean so that's what we're gonna do for our central cam now for our right cam this cam is gonna be the cam that also comes back because if you know two in the four two three one formation your cams do sit pretty deep we're defending and helping with the counter attack and since Richarlison is a very strong for me personally he's very strong good pace uh, five star skills and I'm pretty sure he has high medium work rates. I just tell him to get in the box for crosses, free roam and aggressive interceptions. Once again, I want him to go for the ball aggressively for the simple fact of he's not really meant to defend, but if he can help in any way, it's okay if he loses out on a, a pass. It's okay if he misses a passing lane, because you know why? I have a whole back line that's ready to defend. This is just to force my opponent to move faster and have to think on their feet. That's another thing that that 4 3 2 1 does is it allows players to not have to think on their feet. And when they don't really have to think on their feet, they have all the time in the world to pick passes all they want. If you ever notice when you apply pressure to somebody, they just start fumbling and they're not as good. Not everyone's good under pressure. So this is going to help apply pressure. And when it comes to that counter attack and if you're going down the left side with whoever you have as an explosive cam or wherever you put that explosive cam your other cam is going to be making that run into the box for the cross um for your cutback goals whatever you need them for they're going to be there now when it comes to our cdms like i said you want one attacking one defensive tony cruz will be the attacking one like i said before i don't even know if i said before i had luka modric originally in this position and he was perfectly fine Luka Modric is perfectly fine in his position, but I had to switch out on my striker, which was Firmino. And I had to just do a bunch of moving 
and I've still tested out and it works fine. So what are you gonna do for your attacking CDM? You're gonna tell them to cut passing lanes, come for center, get forward. Simple as that. You know, they're gonna be that deep line playmaker. They're gonna just get forward, get into the box, uh, sometimes stay on the outside of the box for Travellas and whatnot. And first off, Modric could hit the Travellas and you know, now more of Tony Cross, I'm just banging for the long shots, power shots, anything like that. That's what Cross is gonna be for. Now, this is where it's, once again, I said your center, your uh, defending center mid. Bellingham, it's one of the best midfielders in the game, high, high work rates. So I want him to be the more defending oriented versus Tony Cruz. I don't like his dribbling as much. So Tony Cruz is going to be the dribbler for me. Now we're going to have him on tight mark drop between defenders and cover center. Reason why. I have him on tight mark. I know you've probably seen multiple times that there's cut passing lanes, cut passing lanes, cut passing lanes, like Tony Cross. With that drop between defenders, since you're going to have either your left or right back attacking, Bellingham is going to drop in between defenders and it's going to push or whoever, whichever side you have them on, it's going to push. So when he drops in between Virgil van Dijk, Eder Minathon, it's going to push Eder Minathon out just a little bit wide to play right back. If I had Tony Cross there, it would do the same thing. Whichever side that it's attacked that you are attacking on with your overlapping of your left or right back, that empty space, your center back is going to cover that while your CDM is going to cover basically the, the center back position. And it also works great for when you lose the ball, there's this thing that when you have it just on that tight mark thing, when you lose the ball, and your opponent is going for the counterattack and are looking for that pass or striker to start building up. Only thing they're going to see is, is an AI sprinting full speed from the defending line. And they're going to think that you're pulling one of your center backs out of position aggressively. And they're going to try to capitalize on it and ping very quickly. And by the time they realize that you didn't really lose a defender, you still have your three back. Like you still have your setup of at least three defenders and your left or right backs coming back is going to throw them off guard. And also too, it just helps press that striker, center forward, that midfielder. Even if they have a midfielder right there, Bellingham will rush to the midfielder. Whoever they pass out to that's in that central area, Bellingham is going to, or your CDM will sprint out full speed to, to mark them immediately you don't even have to touch them just let the ai rush right there and then you can control the player and then you can start defending that way already start defending high on the pitch get that press on as much as possible put your opponent under pr more pressure since you were already in on goal you understand so like i said with that that means Amavinga for me stay back while attacking i still do have him on overlap it really doesn't matter because he's on stay back while attacking but if I did switch on attacking fullbacks, he's going to be making that overlapping run. With the rest of my two center backs, they will be stay back while attacking. And Zaha, for the overlaps, will be on overlap, making the outside run. Just in case if things get too um, compact in the midfield, I can whip across in. I have a, a plethora of tall players in the box, uh, cutback goals and whatnot like that. But yeah, guys, those are my elite division tactics bro um they've been working very great for me they worked well for me in foot champs i've been just literally been spamming these for this these tactics for the past three days because i've just gotten so tired of the four three two one and i've hated how it's helped people who aren't in my personal opinion aren't the greatest at the game make them feel like they're better so hopefully this gets you a little bit more couple wins makes defending that formation a little bit easier and yeah, guys, I'm out. Peace.